Hey, this is Fuchsia from Bella Loon, and I am doing a painting with Hurley. Hurley picked the colors, and we taped off the canvas to prevent the paint from dripping off the sides while we were getting the design. Uh, so right now I'm pouring the paint. It is pre-mixed. The formula is two parts Floetrol to one part paint. But in the case of flat acrylics, I also put a splash of glitter mixing medium to give it a little bit of sparkle. And mix all that up. And once that's done, add water to thin it out to the consistency that you see here. It's very fluid. One thing that I learned with my first painting was to mix the paints outside or wear a respirator. I can tell that the fumes are not good for my lungs. So I've been mixing the paints outside and it helps a lot. I love these colors. Here comes my first attempt at a kiss pour. Definitely check out Olga Sobe's channel when you have a chance. She is absolutely amazing and I learned a lot off of her channel. There's a ton of amazing YouTubers who do this and they're such an inspiration. So pretty. Kind of looks like a galaxy. You can see the bubbles coming up. That's going to form cells. I wasn't liking all of the dark, so I decided to put some ribbons in there with the remaining paint. At first I thought I messed it up, but I had already gone for it, so I had to commit. And watching it back, I'm actually glad I did it. It definitely gave it more Oomph. It needed some color in that dark space. As far as lessons learned with this piece, there was too much paint. Could have used less paint. The canvas is also pretty thin. Since I'm just starting out, I kind of wanted to practice on some more affordable canvas. But the downside of that is as the paint settles, it gets concave a little bit and that affects how the paint dries. But if you keep an eye on it while it's drying, you can guide it how you want it to get the design that you want. We taped the Lazy Susan down to the plastic in the background and then we taped the canvas to the Lazy Susan and that helped keep it in place. A little bit of stretching helped. Kind of looks like a rose in the middle there. I don't like the heat gun very much. It kind of moves the paint around a little bit. I'll definitely be going with the torch in the future. The rose needed a swirl. You 
You can see the cells coming out. It's really pretty. This has no silicone in it. And there it is. I think this one's going to be called Eye of the Storm. Here's the up close results with slightly different lighting. I will definitely be doing more of these in the future, so make sure you hit subscribe and like this if you like what you saw. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.